Before we loaded various types of geological data to build surfaces and volumes representing geological boundaries and units. In this short episode we will see how QGIS can be used to integrate and verify various geotechnical field data and laboratory test results. I have uploaded all boreholes into the QGS project with the geological strata tops which can be displayed in 3D. Another layer includes continuous results from static cone penetration probing conducted near each of the boreholes. These tests have been interpreted and the color scale represents shear strength. SPTN values from tests taken in boreholes are also included as a separate layer. These have not been interpreted and here are categorized according to the N values. Geotechnical laboratory test results were uploaded in a CSV format. The attribute table includes grain size analysis, moisture content, dry density as well as Atterberg limits. Integrating geotechnical data with QGIS allows not only storage and joint interpretation of data. Most importantly, the results can be compared and data quality can be verified allowing to estimate the uncertainty of the final interpretation as well as potential need for more verifying data. Finally, the results can be exported in SCV format and easily interpolated in 3D in ParView which I have already explained in other episodes. The data can be merged into a single file and distributed in a variety of formats to collaborators and clients. Here, we can consolidate the data transferred in CSV format into a spreadsheet, which can then be uploaded into various geotechnical software, even onto your mobile phone for fieldwork or site visits. In the following episodes I will show more detail on interpretation and correlation of geotechnical data with QGS. Thank you and please subscribe.